Hi, my name's Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 11 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share 1 Peter 3 verses 18 to 22. Here is the word of God. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey, which God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through water. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for good a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ who was gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels authorities and powers having been subjected to him first Peter 3 verses 18 to 22 and here's the poem I wrote inspired by those verses the greatest of all suffering are you going through much pain and adversities? Do you feel like giving up from these difficulties? When you think that what you are going through is unbearable, remember others who probably experienced pain that's insufferable. Meditate on how Jesus went through the intolerable abuse in Calvary. It is the greatest of all suffering as it appeased God's wrath and fury. The steadfast love of God made him save Noah from evil around him. The ark became his refuge, and the waters annihilated the man's sins. Just as God cleansed the earth from sin in Noah's time, baptism also purifies us from our past tendencies to sin. All those who are saved are brought safely to the water. Jesus is suffering made us reconcile with the Father. Do not feel disheartened or desperate when you suffer. It is an opportunity for you to keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. He is the greatest of all sufferers as he took the blame for our sins. He gave up his life so we can have a new start and live free. Reflection what was Peter's recommendation when we suffer in these verses? Well, he said that since we are made alive in Christ, there is no need for us to be afraid of suffering. Because when, when Jesus took all the beatings and all the abuses for our sake, that is the greatest of all suffering. So he said here that if you suffer, you actually uh, are made alive in the spirit. You are made alive in Christ. But if you suffer for Christ, that's a different story. Because when you suffer, when you suffer because you did something sinful or wicked, and that is the consequence of your action, but suffering for the Lord Jesus Christ is like like the persecution, right? It's like something that you suffer because you are being um, ostracized or <clears throat> you're being rejected because you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the suffering I'm talking about. So he said here that uh, in the time of Noah, those who were wicked, God gave them all the time to repent, but they didn't. So he drowned them all in the flood to cleanse the whole earth because of so many sins of people. So when we suffer, we actually grow. In James, in James 1, it also says, count it all joy when you're suffering or you, when you encounter all kinds of trials. Because when you do, you grow in your faith. So it's important for us to um, not avoid suffering for Jesus, but to accept it 
and uh, take a part and share in in what Jesus did for us and that is really important for us to remember that no matter what pain adversity sickness ill health or um, loss that we go, go through there is always somebody who is probably having more adversities and sufferings and, and, and experiences than us. So it's important for us to focus on Jesus because Jesus suffered everything for all of us. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. I have over 3,000 videos that I posted daily for 11 years. So if you want to take a look at that, just type on Google or on uh, YouTube, search a box, Ilma Art Studio or Ilma Barayuga Doherty. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.